This simple taxi calculator website is making over $4,500 every single month in completely passive income. And I'm about to show you exactly how to build one just like it using nothing but AI. Look at this screenshot. 150,000 visitors hitting this basic one-page site with each person checking three pages and generating $10 per thousand views through Google AdSense alone. Now, that's pure passive income while the owner sleeps. Here's what's crazy though. I have zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, and I'm going to build this entire thing using just one AI tool. We're talking technical features, payment processing with Stripe for premium options, Google AdSense integration for that passive revenue stream, everything you see making money on the original site. So by the end of this video, you'll have a complete blueprint for building your own passive income website that could be generating thousands per month. And the best part? The AI does literally all the technical work for you. This taxi calculator at taxi-calculator.com proves that simple ideas executed well can create serious passive income streams, and I'm about to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replicate this success using nothing but AI and no-code tools. The AI tool that we're going to use is Replit, and with my code CC, you will get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description down below. Before anything works under the hood, we need a solid foundation. And that starts with the interface. The first step focuses on structuring the entire app. From navigation to layout, setting up the clean and responsive design that everything else will build on. Let's tell Replit exactly what to do using this prompt. Create a modern, responsive taxi fare calculator web app with pages for fare estimator, route options, tariff info, fair breakdown, and profile. Use a top navigation menu and clean card layout design with a central input field for pickup and destination addresses. But first, I need to share this disclaimer. Building websites and earning money online takes real work no matter what some YouTubers might claim. So when I walk you through creating a site, I'm showing you the process and possibilities, not guaranteeing you'll get the same results. The AI tools and methods I use are legit, but your outcome really depends on your own effort, timing, and yes, even maybe a bit of luck. Many sites take time before they earn anything and plenty never do. I'm not promising you'll get rich, quit your job, or achieve instant success. This isn't financial advice or some overnight money scheme. It's simply a look at what's possible. What you choose to do with that info is completely your call. All right, now that's clear, let's get back to building. That prompt gave us a fully structured UI with mobile responsiveness baked in. A fixed top navigation bar is added with quick access buttons for all the main sections. Fair estimator, route options, tariff info, fair breakdown, and profile. Each page uses a clean card style layout, keeping things organized and user friendly. On the fair estimator page, we already have input fields set up to collect the user's pickup and destination addresses. The entire app skeleton is now in place, ready to support more advanced features in the later steps. All right, the layout's done. Now I actually wanted to do something. When someone types in their pickup and drop-off spots, they should immediately get a fair estimate. That's the whole point of the app, right? <laughs> so this next part is all about making that happen. Here's what we're sending to Replit for this part. For the fair estimator, build a fair estimator that takes pickup and destination addresses as input and calculates an estimated taxi fare based on distance, estimated time, and regional base fees. 
show the total estimated cost clearly after the user enters the addresses. This sets up the fare calculation engine at the heart of the app. After users type in their pickup and destination, the system processes the route and simulates distance and travel time, either through map simulations or third-party APIs. It then applies localized pricing such as base fare, cost per kilometer, and idle or waiting time charges. Everything is computed instantly, with the final fare displayed right after the inputs are complete. And to make sure nothing gets missed, the total is styled for emphasis, giving users a clear breakdown of what they'll likely pay. Estimating the fare is a good start, but sometimes people care just as much about how they get there. We are now going to focus on giving users more control over their route, whether they're looking to save time, money, or both. So we'll move forward with this prompt to Replit. Make sure that route optimization that calculates both shortest and fastest routes between pickup and destination. Let users switch between route options and see estimated fare differences. Display a route map preview for each option. Then we will follow it up with an instruction to handle routing behavior more specifically. For routes, redirect the routes page and implement the features on that page. This step builds out a full route comparison system. The app now calculates multiple options, showing both the shortest and fastest paths between the pickup and drop-off. Users can flip between them and instantly see how each one affects the total fare depending on distance or travel time. Every route includes a visual map preview and everything related to routing is neatly tucked into the routes page just like the prompt specifies. It's a simple upgrade, but it makes the experience feel a lot more personalized. Now that users can choose their route, we want to make sure the pricing reflects where they actually are. A five-minute ride in Berlin won't cost the same as one in Manila, and this next part accounts for those differences automatically. So here's what we're sending to Replit for this part. On slash tariff, create a tariff database with entries for taxi fares from different countries and different regions. Users should select a location or country to apply the local fare rules. Tariff data should include base fare, per kilometer charge, and waiting time cost. After that, we will follow up with another instruction to handle edge cases. If no information is loading and there are no available vehicle types, check that the selected location corresponds to valid data. This builds the foundation for localized fare logic. Replit sets up a simulated tariff database on the slash tariff page storing regional fare rules for dozens of locations. Each entry includes the base fare, distance-based fees, idle or waiting costs, and any extra surcharges. Users select a country or city from a dropdown, and the app updates the pricing rules based on that region. In supported areas, different vehicle types like sedans or vans also appear as selectable options. If a region doesn't load properly or no vehicle types show up, the system flags it for follow-up, helping ensure everything stays accurate and functional. Most people don't mind paying. They just don't like feeling in the dark about it. So instead of just showing a total fare, we will give them the full story. Every charge, every multiplier laid out clearly so they know exactly what they're being billed for. So to build that, we will give Replit this exact prompt. For the fare breakdown section, make it show all components of the calculated fare. Base fare, distance charge, waiting time, traffic surcharges, and any regional fixed charges. Display a table or card layout for clarity. With this prompt, Replit adds a detailed visual breakdown right below the estimated fare. Each component is shown clearly, from the base fee to the distance charge based on kilometers, waiting time costs, traffic surcharges, and any region-specific fixed fees. These are arranged in either a table or a card style layout 
depending on the design. There's also a summary line that brings it all together with a final total. It's a small touch, but it adds real transparency to how the app calculates costs, and that goes a long way towards building user trust. Now, no two rides are ever exactly the same. And this next part leans into that. Instead of pretending every estimate is perfect, we will add a little intelligence to account for the messiness of the real world. Traffic, time of day, pass routes, all of it gets factored in. So this is what we'll ask Replit to generate. Add a toggle on the fare estimator to simulate AI-powered optimization for fare accuracy. Use past user inputs to improve future predictions by adjusting time-based charges and accounting for traffic delays. Display a confidence level or error range with each estimate. This update introduces a toggle switch on the fare estimator that turns on a simulated AI layer. When enabled, the app starts factoring in historical user data, tweaking things like wait time during busy hours, or adjusting for patterns in past trips. Instead of just giving a flat number, it now shows a confidence range or margin of error next to the fare like $17.50 plus minus $1.50. It mimics the behavior of a learning model without needing an actual backend. But from the user's perspective, it looks smarter, more adaptive, and a lot more real. However, not every user is here for the same reason. Some want to plan ahead, others want to double check what they already paid. Instead of forcing a one-size-fits-all experience, we are going to make the app flexible enough to handle different goals. Here's what we're sending to Replit for this part. Add a usage selector that lets users choose between trip planning, post-trip verification, or fare comparison. Adjust the input and output display based on the selected mode. In post-trip mode, allow input of the fare paid to compare with the estimate. This feature introduces a mode selector that shifts the app's behavior depending on what the user needs. In trip planning mode, the app sticks to its original purpose, which is estimating fares before a ride. In post-trip verification, users can plug in what they were actually charged and see how it stacks up against the app's estimate. And in fare comparison, they can weigh different fare scenarios against each other. The UI adjusts automatically for each mode with different fields and outputs depending on the context. For comparisons, the app also uses color-coded indicators or simple difference charts to make the results easy to interpret at a glance. Alright, a solid app is great, but if it's going to live long-term, it needs to pay for itself. That's why I want to bring in two simple ways to do that. One through ads and one through paid upgrades for users who want more features and fewer distractions. Here's the prompt we will give Replit. Add Google AdSense integration with ad banner placements on key pages such as fare estimator and route options. Place ads unobtrusively within the layout. Also, connect Stripe for premium features like ad-free mode, PDF report export, and save trip history. Use Stripe test checkout. We will also follow up with, after successful subscription, there should be a premium badge and clear indications of premium. This introduces two monetization paths. First, Google AdSense is integrated with responsive ad banners placed on key screens, like just above the fair results or below the root map, making sure they're visible but not intrusive. The HTML includes the necessary meta verification tag, and placeholder units are used during the build. Once the site is approved, those placeholders can be replaced with live AdSense code. At the same time, Stripe Test Checkout is added to handle premium subscriptions. When a user upgrades, they get a fully ad-free experience, access to export their trip data as downloadable PDFs, and the ability to save their trip history, assuming user profiles are extended. A gold premium badge appears on their profile or in the navigation bar to clearly mark their status. 
With this setup, the app supports both passive income from ad views and direct income from paying users, creating a balanced monetization structure without compromising the user experience. And there it is, the same kind of site that's making over $4,500 a month now fully rebuilt with nothing but AI. We've created every part of the original, the fair estimator, the root logic, regional pricing, premium features with Stripe, and even the AdSense setup that brings in the passive income every time someone refreshes a page. No custom coding, no dev team, just Replit, AI, and a few smart prompts. What started as a basic one-page calculator with three core pages is now a complete monetized app and the exact same blueprint is in your hands. Like what I said earlier, if you're ready to build your own version, you can grab the Replit agent with the code CC for 10% off, links down in the description. That discount gets you everything you need to start building, testing, and launching your own passive income tool without writing a single line of code. So yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.